ओम सदाशिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम ओं सहना सह नौ घुन सह वीर वह तेजस्वीतमस्तु मा विषा वह ये ओं शांतशाशा धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति प्रसुबंतादिधातु ब्रह्मात्मने नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव मंडस्यांतस्मे लोका सप्तद्वीपा चीजेंटर भगवान कृष्ण सेट एक यूनी भूतानी सर्वाणीबारय अहम कृष्ण से जगत प्रभव प्रलयस्तथा नो ऑल दीज भूता ऑल दीज बीइंग्स Sentient and insentient beings are, are born as being born out of para and apara prakriti. Thereby, they are etad yoni ni. What are those which bhutas? All bhutas, sarvani. Iti upadhar ayo. After being taught so, ascertain, ascertain it and inquire into it and be very clear about it. There should be doubtless that all beings are born from Ishara. as his maya shakti is operating and it is operating on the basis of the sat vastu which nirguna brahma is so nirguna brahma plus maya shakti meaning para prakriti plus apara prakriti together make ishwara and from that ishwara everything is born and it is clarified further as aham krishnasya jagatah pita uh, prabhava pralaya satha so prabhava prabhava is source prabhava generally when you see this uh, uh, this pratya by which the derivation is usually it is seen as bhava if you see bhava it is uh, bhavanam bhavaha so bhavanam as in it is uh, uh, bhave vipatti generally but here it is not bhave vipatti prabhava is prabhavati asmat iti prabhavati asmat so that is the derivation panchami panchami arthe derivation is in the panchami uh, so it is the source panchami is upada uh, apadana karana apadana karana from which everything is born that source is prabhavah so utpatti is, is the panchami karaka here thereby uh, apadane vipatti and pralayas tatha i am also the pralaya and since the source and the resolution is talked about here sustenance is included even if it is not mentioned separately and for the entire jagat krishna se jagatah and since this is so yatah tasmat therefore the next shloka mattah parataran nanyat kinchidasti dhananjay mai sarvam idam protam sutre mani gana iv so what he says is that uh, mattah parataram na anyat kinchid asti mattah parataram na anyat kinchid asti अस्ति धनंजय हे धनंजय मयि सर्वम इदम प्रोतम सूत्रे मणिगणाः इव सो ऑल दिस इज मणिगणाः इव ओके सो मत्तह मत्तह पंचमी For comparison, कंपेरिजन कम मत्तः परतरम 
परतरम अन्यत अन्चिदी नास्ति जस्ट गिव मी मोमेंट अन्य थोड़ी अव्यय आई थिंक अन्य इज एन अव्यय अदरवाइज इतर अव्यय सो मत परतर दिस इज पंचम्य अर्थित असिल देर फॉर अव्यय परतर न अन्य किंचिदस्ती किंचिदस्ती देर इज नथिंग अदर देन मी In fact, paratharam here means superior. There is nothing superior, but really there is nothing inferior also, because there is nothing other than Parmeshwara, although he does not directly say it yet. He is Dhananjaya, and then further he says, further he says, what is happening? Okay, my. मई मई सर्व इदम मई सर्व इदम रोतम समथिंग इज रॉन्ग इट्स वेरी स्लो रोतम लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन क्लोज वॉट एप्लीकेशन इज रोपन नथिंग इज ओपन सूत्रे मणिगणा इव मणिगणा इव लाइक द मणि लाइक द बीड्स लाइक द बीड्स आर पुट टुगेदर इन अ सूत्र पुट टुगेदर सोन टुगेदर और वोवन टुगेदर इन अ सूत्र सिमिलरली इदम इदम सर्व इदम सर्व इज प्रपंच इदम जगत मई प्रोतम इट इज ऑल वोवन इन मी सो दिस इज वॉट ही सेज एंड वॉट इज मेंट बाय वोवन इफ यू लुक एट द भाष्य सो इफ यू लुक एट द भाष्य हियर इट इज नॉट क्लियर इन दी Mula, it is not clear as to paratharam uh, one paratharam nasti. Nothing is superior to me, says Bhagwan. Then he says, all this is woven unto me, like the beads are woven unto a thread in a mala, in a japa mala, for example. But the beads are different from the beads are separate, separate from the thread. But is it so? With Bhagwan also is the prapancha really separate from him. So Bhashya says, "Matta Parameshwarat Parataram." Parataram here is not really superior, but anyat. And Parataram can also mean other, but Tara Tara is is mentioned here. So one can mistake it for superior. Parataram. Is there a? Let me just cross check. is to there is no word there anyway so the meaning is not really superior the meaning is anyat parataram anyat karanantaram kinchid nasti there is no karana so anyat nasti parataram anyat karanantaram nasti there is no other karana other mean other than me for everything i am the karana this is the meaning bhagwan bhashyakara takes kinchid nasti na vidyate aham eva jagat karanam ithyartha final meaning is that there is there is nothing superior if you say what is superior what is subtler and uh, what is the karana that is superior to the karya thereby paratara is interpreted as superior subtler and thereby from redirection superior meaning subtler and subtler meaning karana 
देर बाय ही लैंड ऑन दी मीनिंग अहम एव जगत कारण मिथ्यर्थ देर इज नो अदर कारण अन्यत नास्ती इति न कारणांतरम नास्ती एंड देन फाइनली इफ यू इंक्वायर इन टू इट इज इट इज एनीथिंग रियली एग्जिस्टेंट नथिंग इज एग्जिस्टेंट जगत इज नाम रूपात्मकम एल्सवेर इट विल बी क्लैरिफाइड बट हियर ओनली दिस मच इज बींग सेट दैट देर इज नो अदर कारण देन परमेश्वर हे सर्व कारण कारण देन फर्दर यस्माद तस्मा मयि परमेश्वरे सर्वाणी भूतानी सर्वद जगत प्रोतम सो ऑल दिस इज वोवन दिस एंटायर प्रपंच सर्वद मीन्स दिस जगत प्रपंच इज प्रोतम वोवन इन मी अनुस्यूतम अनुगतम अनुविधम ही गिव्स दीज मीनिंग्स फाइनली इज ग्रथित मिथ्यर्ता ऑल दीज आर क्रिएटेड इन मी इन फैक्ट वी कैन गो वन वन स्टेप फर्दर एंड टेक क्यू फ्रॉम मांडुक्य एंड इवन से कल्पित मिथ्यर्ता ऑल दो भगवान भाष्यकर डज नॉट से हियर अनुस्यूतम अनुगतम अनुविधम ग्रथित मिथ्यर्ता बट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम इज एग्जाम्पल दैट इट इज इमेजिंड और there is nothing other than bhagwan so if you look at it dirga tantushu patavat so how pot uh, sorry pata how a cloth is woven in 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 a long thread so otam protam otam and protam ota when you say they are uh, in in textile industry you have these sideways threads and then lengthwise lengthwise and sideways breadthwise so that breadth wise are called as ota and this is length wise are called as prota literally if you take literally but when you say woven the, the difference is not between ota and prota anymore when it completely woven ota prota both included now what are what is cloth but thread there is no existent entity called cloth without thread and other than thread also there is nothing so if you see parataram nasti parataram means the thread the way thread is karana for the cloth and no other karana is there for the cloth but thread material cause we are just looking at the material cause right now so thus far is the example that there is no cause for the cloth other than the thread now you take that further in the second half and see what he is saying is that all this is woven in me like the cloth is woven in a thread but is the cloth really woven in the thread literally like the sutra which says that uh, sorry shloka which says that in the thread the mani mani ganas are woven it is not that that way in this example bhagwan bhashyakara is clarifying that uh, bhagwan krishna does not mean to say that the the way mani ganas are different from the thread that way the prapancha is separate from from krishna if you remove the thread there will not be a mala at all the beads may be there but the beads will not be woven in a single mala if you take away the thread so that thread is the support as well it is the sustenance ground for the mani ganas to be there in the form of mala now so sutre cha mani gana iva that is chakara there but he says the real example is that dirga tantushu patavat there is nothing like cloth other than thread cloth is just a name and form naam roopa and vacharam bhanam vikar naam dheyam what is naam but it is just this vikara is nothing but naam this pata is a vikara product which is nothing but nama other than this dirga tantu there is nothing called as pata pata is a mere name given for, to the thread which is woven in a particular manner that's all it is there is no existence of pata other than the dirga tantu there is no cloth other than the thread that is the idea that should be very clear that the way there is no ornament other than the gold there is no uh, pot etc ghata kumbha ityadi other than clay similarly sutre cha mani gana iva and dirga tantu shu patavat dirga tantu shu patavat the prapancha has no existence it is only nama roopatmaka it is just a name 
given to an appearance of Parabrahma. That is the idea here. And Vikaro Namadheyam, Vacharambhanam Vikaro Namadheyam. What is it? Nama. It is just Nama. Vikaraha product is just a name which is Vacharambhanam. It, it begins with speech. It is supported by speech and it begins with speech. Its existence is in that speech, that Nama. And similarly, everything which is created, we think, in Prapancha is nothing but name for the appearance of Parabrahma. The Karana itself appears as the Karya. Karya does not ever remain separate from Karana. It has no existence of its own. This is the idea here. And this idea, if it is clear, every um, every part of the of few shlokas follow this idea because they elaborate it. Bhagwan Krishna elaborates this idea with other examples to understand what is this protatvam. He expands it there through few examples. So mattaha. Anyat parataram nasti nasti he dhananjaya anyat kinchit parataram nasti and then he dhananjaya I think it is some Baraha problem. Let me restart Baraha. Okay, let me try now. So, Mattaha Anyat. Kinchit Parataram Nasti and then He Dhananjaya Mai Sarvam Idam Sarvam Mai Idam Sarvam Protam Sutre Maniganaha Yuva Protam So that is the Anvaya there Kena kena dharmena vishishte toi sarvam idam protam iti uchyate. Kena kena dharmena vishishte. What are, talk about some vishesha now. You are just giving, making a general statement that mai sarvam idam protam. Why don't you give me some examples and explain vishishta, some specifics as to kena kena dharmena vishishte toi. What kind of, uh, you know, is, uh, uh, in vishishta dvaita they say, uh, you know, Brahma is, has Ananta Guna, Ananta Kalyana Guna they say. We don't disagree with Ananta Kalyana Guna, if we have to talk about then it is Saguna Brahma. But otherwise Brahma is Nirguna. Ishwara is Saguna and Ishwara can be talk, talked about as having Ananta Gunas. Not an issue, it's not so much of an issue, we will not uh, really debate it out. But if the Parabrahma of the Shruti, knowing which everything we will as well be known through Ishwara, through Sagunattvam and that Aikya which is taught as the, the culmination of the Shruti, that Aikya, when Aikya is analyzed, that time there are no two, that Advaita Tattva that you land on after removing the contradictory attributes of the Pada, Tat and Tvampadas, what you land on is Nirguna Brahma, which is Atma. Then there is no Bheda, there is no possibility of <coughs> Ananta Guna or even one Guna on the Jiva side. Alpattvam is not possible, Sarvajnyattvam is not possible. Alpajnyattvam is not possible, Sarvajnyattvam is not possible, uh, Ishittvam is also not possible. None of these attributes are possible in Nirguna Brahma, which is the real Atma. Sadatma, Chidatma and Anantatma or Anandatma. Therefore, the question here is with Sagunatvam, when Krishna is saying that in me all these are prota, sarvamidam, 
then that sarvam is what is it like you know everyone when you talk about you may not literally mean everyone so everyone uh, attends my class so everyone does not really attend my class so I, you know everyone voted everyone didn't vote 100% voting was not there but we say whatever we i mean we had in mind that kind of percentage turned up so that is sarvam but is this sarvam that kind or is this sarvam really sarvam there were the question is kena kena dharmena vishishte tvai what kind of specification or what kind of qualification the, the, the dharma qualification you would bring in in you whereby all this is prota so talk about yourself we saw saw that seventh chapter onwards it is a description of tat padartha ishvara saguna brahma thereby the inquiries into saguna brahma as to what, what are the vishesha dharmas here sarvam idam protam iti uchyate that is answered in the eighth shloka onwards through few shlokas some samples are given raso amapsukaunte prabhasmi shashi surya yo प्रणवसर्वेदेशु शब्दखे पौरुषंदृशु सो रसः रसः अहम् अप्सु नित्य हो वचना अप शब्द श्री लिंग एंड हो वचना अप्सु इन वाटर अहम् रसः आई एम द रसः इन वाटर व्हाट इज रसः रसः इज द एसेंस रसः इज द एसेंस सो Uh, or generally taste taste in water or rasaha means essence i am the essence in water or taste in water he kaunte ya so wherever and water meaning this is this is uh, sukshma tattva not the uh, uh, grossified or after the quintuplication this is not after uh, panchikarana this is the tanmatra tanmatra in tanmatra i am the rasaha thereby it will combine with others and you will get rasaha in every other through the water element once it is mixed up with the other four in proportion during grossification or during panchakaran panchikaranam but i am the shuddha rasa in that shuddha subtle water in the sukshma tanmatra further what prabha prabhasmi aham prabhasmi i am prabha prabhasmi shashi surya yo ho in saptami divachana in shashi and surya in in the moon and sun i am prabha i am the light basically the sun and the moon have any light only because of my prakashah this is what भगवान से प्रणव सर्वेदेशु प्रणव अस्मी सर्वेदेशु इन ईच एंड वेदाधार मंत्र इन ईच एंड एवरी मंत्र जनरली इन चैंटिंग यू मस्ट हर्ड दैट इट स्टार्ट्स विथ ओंकारा देर आर थ्री मात्रा टू ओंकारा एंड विथ थ्री मात्रा टू ओंकारा चैंटिंग यू स्टार्ट एनीथिंग इवन इन एनीथिंग ऑस्पिशियस इज चैंटेड विथ ओंकारा ट्रेडिशनली नाउ any mantra basically any mantra is chanted with omkara and this omkara is the name of ishwara it is it is the name of brahma so if you want to call brahma by anything then omkara akara okara makara combination omkara with the o a and u make this o sandhi that is pranavah that is called as pranavah omkara sarva vedeshu in all vedas they all the veda mantras also derive their uh, their strength or their uh, mantra shakti the strength is very in english it sounds very odd so uh, the the mantra shakti the shakti in the mantras is due to omkara they derive from omkara and omkara is ishvara who is the basis for all vedas therefore अहम सर्वेदेशु प्रणव अस्मी खे शब्द खे आकाशे इन आकाश आई एम शब्द अगेन तन्मात्र दिस इज तन्मात्र दिस इज सटल आकाश आई एम शब्द बिकॉज शब्द गुण आकाश आकाश गुण इज शब्द दैट गुण शब्द इज ड्यू टू ब्रह्म नो वन एल्स बट ब्रह्म ईश्वर 
basically there are the samplings what is indicated is in everything whatever makes that everything be that particular thing i am that purusham drushu purusham asmi aham drushu so if you take nara and then translate it literally it would mean in uh, men i am that manliness and it can be extended in women i am the womanliness whatever makes a man man i am that whatever makes the woman woman i am that so whatever makes a human being human being i am that whatever makes an animal or a bird animal or bird i am that so it has to be extended this is all upalakshana further what am i so this the uh, he he kaunteya everything else is in uh, uh, seventh case and first case so you can put put them together in anvaya there is simple anvaya i'll not make those punyo gandha prutivyancha tejas chasmi vibhavaso जीवनम सर्वभूतेशु तपश्चास्मी तपस्विशु पृथिव्या पुण्य गंध अस्मी पुण्य हियर हेज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट स्वीट स्मेल ऑफ पृथ्वी नॉट नॉट एवरी पार्ट ऑफ अवर स्मेल स्वीट और द स्वीट और द सुरभि दैट सुरभि वे यू से सुरभि स्मेल रादर इफ यू I, I don't know how many of uh, how many people don't like, but generally it is un, uh, thought of that the first rain that falls on uh, uh, first rain of the year or the season, the smell that you get uh, of the this this muddy areas, that smell is a sweet smell. So one example is that that kind of punya gandha, prithviam, whatever is the. the punya gandha in that prithvi is me says bhagwan meaning what whatever makes that gandha for prithvi the gandha is is guna gandhavati prithvi the guna for prithvi is gandha just like for uh, for akasha it is shabda shabda guna akasha and gandhavati prithvi but here punya is added to say that durgandha also can be understood but then there punya gandha whatever makes uh, the idea is basically whatever makes prithvi prithvi i am that tejascha asmi vibhavaso vibhavaso vibhavas is uh, is the agni in agni agni has the form rupa rupa is the guna of agni which is indicated by tejah tejah that light of fire or actually even the heat even the heat of fire is bhagwan but here tejas chasmi what is bhagwan bhashakara's uh, gloss over for that si punyatvam gandha gandhasya swabhavatah eva prithiviyam darshitam अबादीषु रसादे पुण्योपलक्षणा बिकॉज ऑल दिसंधस्त स्वभाव एव पृथिव्या दट स्वीट स्मेल ऑफ पृथ्वी इज इट स्वभाव दुर्गंध इज नॉट इट स्वभाव दुर्गंध इज कॉज ड्यू टू समथिंग एल्स सो इस अबादीषु रसादे पुण्योपलक्षणा एंड वेन यू से ओनली द स्वीट स्मेल ऑफ पृथ्वी देर इज you know the the sweetness in everything else also the sweet taste the uh, whatever you say you know the the, um, the touch of a child perhaps you know the that you say even such a sweet touch you know you may use that it may not be grammatically correct but the expression is is such that whatever is punyaha in any of the senses all that is indicated by saying that punyatvam uh, gandhasya swabhavata eva so uh, that punyo gandha is upalakshana does not mean the gandha alone is punya ha there can be anything else also which is uh, you can use grammatically correct word which makes more sense in a particular language for that particular uh, guna ha of that particular element all that is bhagwan so it is uh, it is upalakshana artham abadishu rasade punyatto upalakshana artham in water whatever is punya ha that is me this the sweet taste of the water is me all that is mentioned here through 
gandha because the sweetness goes with gandha here very well and then it can be expanded unto others apunyatantu gandha dinam avidya dharmadya peksham samsarinam bhuta vishesha samsarga nimittam bhavati then he ex- extends that why this word punya has been used because punya otherwise is understood as what as a virtue as a virtuous thing something that one does in karma also so for samsari is bhuta vishesha samsarga nimittam bhavati punya it is punya is what is the the the, the most virtuous it would be that which is on its own swabhavata virtuous which is atma there is nothing else said so, punyatvam is actually your swarupa and it is tainted by this dharma dharma that a person does it becomes tainted as though and uh, one becomes a samsari so samsarga nimittam bhuta vishesha samsarga nimittam thereby punya is used avidya dharma apeksham so avidya dharma all these create this Uh, apunyatvam or papatvam but punya is your swarupa he extends that from the elements unto the jiva also and for the elements or elementals what is apunyatvam this gandhadinam avidya dharmadya peksham again it is dependent on something else it is not their own swarupa it is dependent on because uh, uh, when tasmadva etasmad atmanah akasha sambhutam akasha dvayu ityadi everything has a basis in ishvara akasha is born of that ishvara who is this atma how without undergoing any change it is just a mere appearance nama roopatmakam which is a mere appearance roopa is an appearance there and nama is just to qualify it with something so that you can transact you can you can objectify saying idam so akasha then akasha vayu so akasha is appearance of ishwara with a name similarly akasha vayu means that akasha roopa ishwara vayu so punya dharma has is pervading all through swabhavatah because it is ishwara atma's swarupa then whatever is additional in these elements elemental down to the purusha औषधिभ्यो अन्नम अन्नाथ पुरुष टिल दैट एंड देन अन्नाथ पुरुष दैट जीव शरीर विच इज बॉर्न देयर आल्सो दिस ईश्वर हैज ऑलरेडी एंटर्ड ऑलरेडी एंटर्ड एज जीव अनेन जीवात्मना अनुप्रविश्य नाम रूपे व्याकरण वाणी सो अदर अनदर उपनिषद डिस्क्राइब्स दिस बट इट इज द परवेजन ऑफ ईश्वर एज जीव and srishti is for jeevas bhoga jeevas bhoga as per his karma now having entered this in association with avidya under the influence of avidya that punya is not shuddha punya anymore there is apunyatvam as well so apunyatvam whatever is seen that is due to avidya punyatvam is ishara swabhava this is what is the differentiation made there and we have to understand that avidya maya all all these words are used to explain the creation but then it is not by itself it is it has its basis in brahma sat brahma chit brahma ityadi so punyo gandha prithivyam cha tejas chaatmi vibhavaso uh, we were looking at uh, jeevanam saro bhute tapas chaatmi tapas we are looking at teja sabhav i miss that and i It didn't cover that. So tap uh, teja, teja deepthi chasmi vibhava. So so that uh, the deepthi swabhava of the agni he is me, says Bhagwan. There is nothing additional to that. I want. I was looking at. Is there anything additional there? Nothing additional. Tatha jivanam sarva bhuteshu yena jivanti sarvani bhutani tat jivanam. So sarva bhuteshu jivanam. and jeeva is not prana dharane jeeva is jeeva dhatu is jeeva prana dharane so jeevanam sarvabhuteshu that uh, yena jeevanti yena nimittena jeevanti sarvani bhutani tad jeevanam tad nimittan jeevanam i am that i am that very life of all beings in all beings i am on all living beings i am that life 
the life principle tapas chasmi tapas vishu i am the you know the austerity principle in all the austere people all the ascetics i am the austere austerity in them tasmin tapasi mai tapasvinah prota now what bhagwan bhashyakara says is the question here was when he says mai protam so here see mai sarvamidam protam this is an expansion of that as to how kena kena dharmena vishishte tvai sarvamidam protam ityuchyate so in the earlier shloka also what has been said is that apam yah saraha sarasaha aham asmi i am that sara essence in all kinds of watery things first in water and in all watery things would be this water would have entered and basically in all taste i am the essence in all taste that will be the end meaning there tasmin rasabhute mai apah prota ityartah what he is saying is that apah prota srilinga therefore prota apah prota kasmin kena kena dharmena vishishte tvai so uh, he is saying that rasabhute rasabhute mai or ras, rasena vishishte mai apah prota this is the idea and this has to be extended to everything evam sarvatra similarly it is applicable to everything so yatha aham apsurasah just like i am rasa in ap apah similarly evam prabhasmi sashi suryo meaning what uh, he does not explain here pranavah omkara sarve vedeshu meaning tasmin pranav bhute omkara rupe mai sarve vedaha protah all these vedas have their being in me that is the meaning they are woven in me means all they exist due to me everything that you see there whatever vedas do that shakti is due to me jnana shakti is due to me everything that you see in any objectifiable thing whatever you objectify is due to me so purusham yatah yatah pum buddhi nrushu tasmin mai purushah prota tasmin mai means what this tasmin uh, this uh, nrushu so in everything see, see here it is clear khe akashe shabda sarabhuta tasmin mai kham protam meaning tasmin akasha in that tasmin akashe mai kham protam sorry uh, shabde so here you see sarva tasmin mai kham protam so shabde so he is looking at all of this as uh, as an expansion of what was said earlier here as to the sarvam idam mai protam that is expanded into all of uh, the other shlokas which are ongoing now in continuation bijam mam sarva bhutanam vidhi partha sanatanam buddhir buddhimata masmi tejas tejas vinamaham and he says bijam mam sarva bhutanam vidhi bijam mam mam sarva bhutanam bijam vidhi he partha now sanatanam can go with bijam so you can say mam sanatanam bijam vidhi or you can say bijam mam sanatanam sanatanam mam so sanatana can be a qualifier for bija or it can be qualifier for mam it is just a concept difference the end meaning will not change sarva bhutanam he partha sarva bhutanam bijam sanatanam bijam mam vidhi or sarva bhutanam he partha sarva bhutanam bijam sanatanam mam vidhi it is just as which it, which it qualifies so may you know you sh- may you know that i am the seed of all beings and an eternal one at that i am eternal who is the seed or i am the eternal seed for for all beings further what am i buddhi hi buddhimatam buddhi asmi buddhimatam buddhi asmi among all the intellectuals i am the intellect i am that buddhi 
then tejasvinam tejaha aham tejasvinam tejaha i am the teja for all those who are tejasvis the teja is due to me the luster is due to me this is what bhagwan is saying and it is all just an upalakshana it can be expanded further si bijam praroha karanam maam vidhi sarvabhutanam he partha sanatanam chirantanam eternal and then kincha buddhi hi buddhi what is buddhi viveka shakti hi that discriminative power and that discrimination in between the two things that you generally see atma and atma sad asat all these among all this you should be able to separate yourself out finally the viveka is what the final viveka is knowing atma as the only existent vastu everything else is non existent it has a dependent existence on me that is that viveka shakti antakkaranasya buddhimatam viveka shakti matam asmi so i am the viveka shakti in the viveka shakti matam tejah what is tejah pragal vayam tadvatam tejasvinam aham so what makes that tejasvi a tejasvi tejah and that tejah is me i am sure this uh, this will not be difficult so i'll leave the pad chheda here i'll do it later i forgot the earlier one also so i'll do it uh, बलम बलवतां चाहम कामराग विवर्जितम धर्मा विरुद्धो भूतेशु कामोस्मी भरतर्षभ हे भरतर्षभ तो बेस्ट अमॉंग द लिनिएज ऑफ भरत सो ऋषभ एक्चुअली यू आर दी ऋषभ लाइक ऋषभ इव ऋषभ अमॉंग भरत सो दिस इज एन एड्रेस संबोधन हे भरतर्षभ बलवतां चाहम balam asmi i am the strength among the strong people so not among strength of the strong people whatever makes the strong people strong that strength i am and what kind of strength is that it is not that strength which is used to you know suppress the the weaker weaker in worldwide you know the they say you know the jungle raj the weak the weak ones are oppressed so you suppress them you oppress so the, the the just because you have power you rule over it is not that kind of bala so in hindi they say jiski laathi uski bhais so the buffalo whom does the buffalo belong to if there is a buffalo and whom does it belong to whoever has a stick it belongs to that person so not that kind of bala righteous one therefore kama raga vivarjitam that bala is not guided by kama it is not guided by raga it is for the benefit of the society it is a kshatriya bala kshatra balam that kshatra balam is 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 through dharma of course i mean in kali yuga all that is changed but then uh, even even if bhagwan says that i am that kama vivarjita bala we have to still understand then what about the other bala wherever he says that i am he is qualifying that bala so all other strength is what the rakshasa strength is what now it's not ishwara that is also really ishwara but it is difficult to understand in initial stage that all that is also me bhagwan is saying all that is also me but then he cannot just uh, he has already said sarvam but arjuna has not got that so he is questioning us to what how can it be every, how can everything be you know uh, prota in you so he is giving a sampling of what uh, arjuna can understand he is easing him in but to begin with this has to be understood before mithyatvanishchaya only the punya uh, kama raga vivarjita bala and then dharma aviruddha kama all these should be taken as ishwara not everything everything is ishwara we should not take it so initially till mithyatva nischaya is not complete till it is not complete we should always take the the good half as ishwara bad half we just leave as saying that no it is not ishwara although that is also ishwara because otherwise we'll have dvaita that is also ishwara but that will lead you away from ishwara 
a person who indulges in papa or in bala for the sake of bala having bala one guides that bala with kama and raga and meets one's own needs and ends whatever i want i can get because i have strength that kind of bala will lead a person to papa that papa will take away a person from tattva and continue into samsara not only in samsara but in arogati therefore bhagwan says that i am kama raga vivarjitam balam in balavatas in those are who are balavan further what am i i am dharma aviruddha dharma viruddho kamah meaning dhar, dharma aviruddha dharma viruddha kamah asmi i am that desire which is not opposed to dharma so here by what is included dharma dharma based kama is included and neutral kama neutral kama means okay you like something but the shastra does not prohibit it shastra is not prescribed you you know you like paisam you like um, i mean something you know just you like to take a trip somewhere none of this is prohibited if it is not prohibited you like it you can fund it through wealth which you have earned in dharma shastra does not say anything about it it is neutral about it it does not prescribe okay you know you do this you of course tirtha yatras may be prescribed but then other than tirtha yatra something you know just trekking trekking for the heck of it so people just go around let's do this so whatever you are doing so sightseeing trip all that all that as an example or you like something which is not prohibited by the shastra you indulge now that will also bind of course it will bind because it will create samskara but it is not prohibited it may not give you punya but it will not give you papa either thereby dharma viruddha will include dharma and it will include that which is neutral that kind of kama desire i am o bharatar shabh sri bhagwan kincha moreover what else am i ye chaiva satvika bhava rajasastam tamasascha ye this should be tamas just give me a moment there is a typo here it should be yeah it should be tamasascha tamas does not make sense here okay ye chai vasatvika bhava rajasastam sascha ye मत्त एवेति तान विद्धि नत्वहन्तेषु मेते मयि सो ही एंड्स दिस हियर इन द फर्स्ट हाफ देन ही मेक्स अ सीमिंगली कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी स्टेटमेंट ये च एव ये ये च एव ये च एव नॉट कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी सीमिंगली कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी और डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड ये च एव सात्विकाः भावाः राजसाहि न तु अहम तेषु ते मयी satvika rajasa and tamasa bhava bhavas are those beings and things they can be things also so all things which are so things can also be categorized in uh, another chapter bhagwan krishna will talk about the food which is satvika food rajasa food tamasa food he will talk about satvika dana rajasa dana tamasa dana so there are all these things can be satvika rajasa tamasa and uh, human beings devatas rakshasas all these ganas are there they are also either satvika devatas also satvika satvika devata ugra devata tamas tamasika devatas all these are there so those beings are also included and things are also included in this satvika ha satvika can be devas then rajasa tamasa so tamasas can be the uh, rakshasas and rajasas can be you know this mixed human beings there can be rajas the deities also so all sorts of categorizations are possible 
देर बाय सात्विका राजस एंड टामस इंक्लूड थिंग्स एंड बींग्स सो ये चात्विका राजस तामसाच भाव वॉट आर दोज मत एव मत्वि सो यू नो देम तान्विधि ऑल दीज आर सो ऑल दीज आर फर्स्ट केस विल गो इन टू कोटेशन विथ मत्वि दे आर फ्रॉम मी अलोन दे आर ऑलसो बॉर्न फ्रॉम मी ऑल दीज आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम मी मत्वि तान्विधि यू नो देम एज ऑल ऑफ दीज and this is also hinting towards what what we saw earlier so dharma viruddha here dharma viruddha is this kama dharma viruddha is me now if this uh, tamasa tamasa rakshasas are also born from bhagwan then how can they have kama which is dharma Virudha, not dharma virudha, dharma virudha. So he is hinting that all of these are also me. Finally, he is saying that all of these are finally me, they, because there is nothing other than me. Matte eva iti tan vidhi. They are born from me, and karya is never different from karana. Therefore, all that is me. Everything is me. That he is finally concluded by saying satvika rajasa tamasa is concluded with idam sarvam mai protam. where he began and he elaborated then he says natu aham teshu te mai so aham teshu na bhavami te mai bhavanti so they are in me but i, I mean he, let's look at the bhashya what he says for that what is the meaning of mai सो ते पुनः मई दे आर इन मी एंड अर्लियर यद्यपिते मत्तः जायन्ते ऑल दो ऑल दी सात्विक राजस एंड तामस आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम मी मत्तः जायन्ते तथा अपि इवन देन न तु अहम तेषु आई एम नॉट इन देम ऑल दो दे आर बॉर्न फ्रॉम मी आई एम नॉट इन देम व्हाट इज द मीनिंग इट कैन नॉट बी दैट आई एम नॉट इन देम यू हैव परवेडेड देम कंप्लीटली Ishara has pervaded this prapancha, and he is making a bold statement, saying that I am not in them. How can that be? We say that he is the very essence of this prapancha. He says I am not in them. That is not the meaning. What he is saying that teshu tathapi natu aham teshu means what? Aham teshu adhina ha na. I am not tadadhina ha. I am not dependent on them. That is the meaning here. Tadvasha ha na asmi. Jatha samsari na ha. all these samsaris are dependent on me but i am not dependent on them this is how why we say that brahma is not prapancha prapancha is brahma it is a one way equation prapancha is brahma i am I, brahma is not prapancha karana is kar not karya karana is more than the karya karya is karana that's why karya is prota woven in karana karana is not woven in karya karya cannot limit karana karana pervades karya thereby you look at all ghata what is ghata clay pot what is a clay pot clay pot is nothing but clay but is clay clay pot all clay pots are clay so all the products of clay are nothing but clay but clay is more than one product clay is more than the second product clay is more than the third set of products clay is more than all products put together clay is more than the sum total of all products because the karana still remains in purusha sukta it is said that uh, dashangulam he is there purusha the narayana ishwara is or 10 fingers above this creation how can he be 10 only 10 fingers that's all so if you expand this universe ever expanding universe then he'll still be 10 fingers it is he'll always be 10 fingers above and 10 fingers is just a statement 10 can be 10 is just a number it is not an exact number 
we say you know hundreds hundred hundreds of times you know 10 times 100 times it is not exact 10 times or 100 times it is basically talking about infinity it is tending to infinity so he is not 10 fingers above if you take 10 literally also he will always be 10 fingers above the creation superior subtler more expansive thereby if the universe is said to be you know kind of an infinite or tending to be infinite universe what will be that purusha so purnamada purnamidam purnat purnam ajayate and then purna remains purnamada purnamidam purnat purno and then again purna remains even you separate it out still what it will remain purna so infinity separated from infinity does not make it infinity by two, the infinity will always remain. Purna meva it will always remain. That kind of uh, karana can never be limited by karya, and karya, karana can never be karya. Karya is karana, karana is never karya. That is mithyatum there. Thereby he says, Tathapi natu aham teshu, meaning tadadhinaha nashmi, the satta and purana is, it, it always belongs to purushaha or atma or brahma, ishwara and prapancha has borrowed satta and borrowed purana. Similarly, ananda in vishaya or in prapancha is your own ananda, it is brahmananda manifested. How manifested? When the desire is resolved, the desire takes you away, the want takes you away and when the want is met, the desire is resolved, thereby what Sukha Anubhava is there with the Vishaya, experience of the Vishaya Anubhava, it is not Vishaya Ananda, it is Paramananda alone, the Atmananda which manifests because you are not tuned outward, the desire is not blocking that Ananda, thereby Natu natu tadadhina ityartha tadvasha and te punaha mai madvasha madadhina however they are under my control and they are dependent on me for satta, spurti, ananda for everything this is the meaning of the 12th shloka which closes that state the explanation of that statement he made saying that sarvam idam mai protam we will stop here and we'll continue in the next part. Ha. Om Narayana Parovita Dandam Vatsam Nasyantas Tumi Vata Sattad Vipaji Nidam Shanti Shanti Any questions? I don't see any questions. So I'll see you in the next part. Ha. Namaste.